I think that none of the games matter this this weekend. Like, I, I don't think that – because I think Michigan and Georgia are in. And I don't think that USC should be penalized. Like, if they're in now, they shouldn't be penalized for losing to Utah. I mean, like, compared to, like, who? Oklahoma? I mean, Ohio State or Alabama who aren't playing a game. And then the same with TCU. Like, they're, they're going to be penalized for playing this Kansas State team that, that obviously is a really good team and they're just trending up. I, I don't think that, you know, if there was another really strong candidate right below them that won a conference championship, I could see it. But I don't know. I don't think that, you know, unless they just get lose by like 60, I, I don't I don't think that TCU or uh, – T, this is why I hate the 14 playoff for this weekend specifically, but TCU or USC should necessarily fall out for losing to a good team if the alternative is Ohio State or Alabama who are just sitting at home. I know it's happened like that before, but I'm curious to get your thoughts on which of these games do you think matters, and who do you who do you think is if they lose, they're out no matter what. Colin, I'll start with you. I think if USC loses, they're out no matter what. And the committee, I mean, Brett can correct me if I'm wrong. The committee is going to focus on that one loss versus two losses. They've never taken a two loss team over one loss. We've had some scenarios in the past. Uh, so you don't think they're going to take a three loss Kansas State? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and claim I'm 538 or ESPN FPI that comes up with these numbers that are so far off what odds makers are posting. Uh, but if Iowa State gets in, I just want to puke. I want to throw up. Iowa State, yeah, Iowa State better not get in. Oh, Ohio State, uh, if they get in. But, uh, I mean, that looks like the path, right? If TCU or USC drop. Uh, and, by the way, TCU is like they have a, a great strength of record. They're, I, I don't see yeah. why they should drop, but they won't be a conference champion. And they put so much emphasis on this conference championship stuff. I'm afraid Ohio State is going to slot right in the number five here coming up in the college football playoff ranking on Tuesday night. And then if one of those two teams, uh, three and four, slip, they're going to slide them in. And that's just great for TV, great for brand names and blue bloods. But it, it's not great for, you know, it's not great for competitiveness, in my opinion. Getting let, Allowing Georgia and Brock Bowers to go against this uh, defense that refused to change midstream against Michigan. That's not good for me, but uh, I think that's what's going to happen. What do you think, Brett? And I've, I've been yelling against T- about TCU and USC all year, and, I mean, USC's been really lucky. Uh, yeah. But, look, they've won their games. And I, if I was on the committee, if they're both competitive this week, I would keep them in. Brett, what do you what say? you? I would say no. I don't like – I agree with you, Stuck. I don't think these games matter. Now, now TCU cannot lose 55-3 to to Kansas State. USC cannot lose – you know, 63 to 14 to Utah. Ohio State was over a touchdown favorite at home and got blown out by Michigan. I don't see what they have to play for. I really don't. They're going to spin it, you know, like they do because it's a TV show and say, well, all this intrigue and all this, I'm not buying it. And um, they, they do value conference championships. But you know what? If TCU loses, if USC loses, They'll have as many conference championships this year as Ohio State and Alabama. So why would you drop them down because they lost an extra game that those other schools weren't good enough to play in? Yep, no, I, I agree. I, and it's my biggest argument for expansion is I don't, I don't. You could argue about like what? All right, this is more meaningful. This isn't. This weekend in expansion would be electric. And when you don't have, when you only have four teams, you can get weekends like this where it's like. The SEC championship means nothing. The Big Ten championship means nothing. And we're saying, like, these other ones might not mean anything. And, like, you know, and it's – uh, and then then you got to wait a month for more meaningful games, and we don't even have this weekend. So, uh, I don't know. I digress. We'll see how it plays out. And like you said, it's the subjective opinion. I do think optics matter, though. So, a blowout lost by either, I think they are – they would be done. <laughs>